Hi guys, Macca here from Mo Tackling Outdoors. Today we're out here chasing a few snapper on the inshore reef of the Coffs Coast. Uh, today we're going to be using just a small spin reel, anywhere from your 2500 through to your 4000 size, and a nice 6 to 8 kilo spin rod matched with 15 pound or 20 pound braid and 20 to 30 pound leader. Uh, length of leader, I like to run about uh, two rod lengths worth. One that gives you, um, the snapper are quite wary, so um, they're quite finicky, so that'll just help with um, deterring themselves from your braid and your, and your hook. And running a longer length of leader will also help with the structure that we're fishing. So today we're fishing kelp beds as well as uh, rocky bottom, so it'll help with that abrasion resistance as they are quite dirty fighters at times. We'll also be using soft plastics, anywhere from your five inch to your seven inch range is a good starting point and depending on the depth of water will depend on your jig head size but anywhere from about a six up to half ounce. Today I'm using the Z-Man 5 inch centered jerk shads in the gold rush colour paired up with a quarter ounce TT headlocks jig head in a 30 heavy gauge hook. So these jerk shads actually come centered out of the packet but every now and then I like to apply a little bit more scent so this is the Pro Cure scent this is also from TT and they've got that belly flap there and I find if you stick the snout of the scent in there you can just run it back and that'll allow you to add more scent in. Before you pull up on your reef pull up short of it and just work out which way you're actually going to drift so that you're not to spook any of the fish. Once you've worked out which direction you're going to drift. So pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to cast up of our drift and that'll allow the lure to sink to the bottom. So a lot of people have a lot of different personal preferences. I find a lot of my fish and a lot of my bigger fish will come on that first initial sink. So a lot of the time I'll let it sink that first drop. Once it gets to the bottom, give it a few whips. If I don't get anything, a couple of seconds after that, I'll crank in and cast again. Depending on the day, however, they may be feeding more so on the bottom, so hopping it continuously back to the boat along the bottom can work as well. But just chop and change as you're fishing and see what's working best on the day. You don't want to have your line taut as this won't allow your bait to naturally sink to the bottom. So you want to keep a little bit of belly in the line, but the snapper will pick it up as it's drifting to the bottom. So you need to be watching that line as well for any subtle ticks as that's when you want to strike. A good idea is to also keep your finger on the braid and if you feel any ticks in the braid wind up the flak and give it a strike. So another important factor is time of day. On these inshore reefs uh, sort of the first two to three hours after that sun comes up tends to be your best bite period. Uh, yet again because these snapper are quite finicky um, they like to feed in that low light period so any tide change that you can also get to coincide with the um, with sunrise as well as uh, moonrise or moonset, there are the good times to fish. So, you.